Yeah, we're in the middle of uh, re oh. I'm redoing, updating some stuff, construction, but um, he's got all the lights and everything. There's a whole home make it look good. So this is our um, dining area, and then back behind the swinging doors is where the dance hall is. This was where Elvis first played in 1953. This was the El So this was the stage? Yeah. Oh. I'll move it and get it all. Lansky actually gave us, the, gifted us these pictures, oh, and really? so we've called it the Lansky Lounge now. That's so cool. Now your dog lives in there. Yeah, it's our little puppy lounge now. We do a live stream, so I sit here, and then I have puppies there, so that's why, but that's all. Wow, that's cool. So this yeah. wasn't, this, what built this this not, not in the 50s. This was built on in the 60s? 69. 69, oh. this was built on. Oh, so yeah. it was pretty small back then. Yeah. Oh, oh small. cool. And uh, actually, I think that the door to come in was right there. Oh, really? Yeah. And, uh, uh, this, yeah. Wow. Well, they had one over here and they had one there. Uh, and of course, that was the front. But this is where the bandstand was, but it was a little bigger. It went to, I think, right here. And, uh, and there is steps to go up that have been there forever. Yeah. It was Paul Fernandez back then, too? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, they, know, they knew it was the highway. Okay, the highway. The highway. Yeah. Nice and it was on Old Fernando Road. So. Uh, Rock Billy Boogie from uh, the Burnett Brothers, uh, they're the first one to mention it uh, in. Uh, a song, you know, that, that, uh, 1954, and uh, uh, yeah, they played here with Elvis. Fact, I don't know if you, did you see this thing when you came in? No. Oh, that's uh, we were here once, but this marker. is new. When did you guys have this added? Uh, what added? This sign here. The city gave it. It's gonna be. They, they're giving us a regular. Uh, I guess making it a pewter or something. Cool. It's a, we're uh, gonna get an, oh, um, the, 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 that was just a mock-up for presentation for the little ceremony. Oh, really? And Rita, who did all this research. Uh, Elvis came out here in 1953. What color shirts? <laughs> green shirt, pink, pink pants. Pink pants and a green shirt. Oh. 1953 is before he had his hit. And uh, he uh, apparently tried to like him. They he was just doing the standards of the beer day. Beer bottles at him and stuff. <laughs> beer bottles at him. They I was what, curious what they, if he knew the set list. Not that I, 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 I know, they right? They don't think they didn't like his singing. They just didn't like his his look. You know, he had, had a real long hair and the and, pink uh, outfit. Yeah. And, uh, and, uh, yeah, I wonder what he was singing. It was uh, the standards of yeah, the three. So yeah, it could have been singing uh, uh, that's Amore, which is what <laughs> it's one of the songs that he auditioned with. Really? Yeah. Oh, jeez. Uh, he, he liked Dean Martin. He liked. Uh, you know, but anyway, he, they, uh, you know, booed and jeered him off, you know, and he was really disappointed and didn't even tell his mom, uh, because his mom was so protective, you know, well, so he didn't, didn't tell, tell her that tell, didn't tell what happened, you know, she was really worried about him going to these type of places. Oh, yeah. He's so 18, and, uh, yeah. You know, this was like a honky tonk at the time, or oh, yeah. was it yeah, more yeah, like, it was okay. a honky -tonk. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, this was the hardcore, it was a roadhouse. Yeah. I mean, it was <laughs> literally, I mean. The interesting one here, this is old Fernando Road, mm -hmm. uh, and this used to go all the way to Fernando, Fernando Mississippi. Mississippi. Yeah. Oh. And it used to be known as a plank road or something like that. Plank road, wood road, plank road, I think, because it was all made of wood. Well, has, you know, you remember them old Model Ts? Yeah, yeah, yeah. On, you wow. see them actually on, on roads that are made of wood. Mm -hmm. You can look at old footage and you see that. And that's, uh, so this used to go all the way down to Fernando Mississippi on the plank and road. And newlyweds would ride on this road as like good luck. Yeah. That's cute. Yeah. But uh, but it it was really uh, kind of coincidence. This was place was known as a hideaway. It's on Hernando Road. Then the movie came out, Hernando's Hideaway, and that's what like oh okay, let's just call it Hernando's Hideaway. Yeah. You know, what so, what know movie? Yeah. What movie is this? Oh, it's that's what's called a, a pajama. Pajama uh, game. Pajama game. Oh, okay. Um, it's the song in that in the movie, but it was a, it was an original. Very the famous 20s. song. Yeah, yeah. real it famous song. Out, it's called Hernando's Hideaway. There's so many renditions of it, like Ella Fitzgerald. And okay. So many people have covered that song. Cool. In different standards and different styles and stuff. So they just kind of picked up the nickname from from mm -hmm. there. And, and yeah. then that when that movie came out, everybody had uh, everybody was doing that song. It was a really popular song. 
it's but he, yeah, but he came back. Elvis came back in '54 the next year when his uh, son record just had just come out, and of course they loved him and everything went great. Mm -hmm. but he was himself. always sitting in. He was always sitting in with Burnett Brothers because uh, you know they grew up together in Lauderdale Courts. Oh, okay. Yeah, you know, uh, and they were but they were in a band together. Uh, but and, when Rocky and, was jealous of Elvis, he got the well, girls. Yeah, <laughs> well, I was jealous. Yeah, because he was always getting girls and and. Uh, and they pretty much chased Elvis off. Said, "No, I don't like him in a band." <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to show you, like, here. I'll turn the lights on. What we have is different views that um, from all the people that have played here and been here. Uh huh. Yeah, we closed March 18th. Oh, really? Yeah. Are you opening but back we're up opening soon? back up August 1st, hopefully. Oh, nice. Okay. Yeah. We've got uh, Reverend Horton Heat that's going to play here. Oh. Yeah, we we had her in, in the VIP room, but she likes to be over here and just, like, we just make sure that our bartender, like, whoever is, like, just, like, aware yeah. that she's there to, and not to bother her. Like, yeah, people, but, uh, like, try to come up to her. And she's so sweet about it. She's, she'll say hi, but we're, like... Leave her alone. So we're gonna turn actually the Fats Domino booth into the Priscilla table because that's where she likes. That's where to she sit. likes to be. So did she tell you that she came here with her dad? Yeah. Okay. Is yeah. it okay, is it okay that I film you? That's yeah. It. All right. Sure. So she told you guys like the story. She told Dale and she said that she used to come here with her dad in the '60s mm. and um, so because she, she was underage, so she had to. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and they play country music here, so her and her dad like to come here and listen, listen to the live music. So this is our Jerry Lee booth. Obviously, you know Jerry Lee called this place his office. He came here so much, and uh, that's a picture of him playing at the Hideaway. That's right. Yeah, you see where the, the light bulbs are. Yeah. So, so you can see like the. That's him with, with James Burton, mm -hmm. and then Kenny Loveless in the background. And then that's like the men's room sign. Yeah, that's or the, the men's room sign right there. Or even the ladies. Man, that's that's cool that you guys kept. They're probably different. Bulbs, we, but. Yeah, but we wanted to keep it. We actually turned that into the Johnny and June bathroom. So in the bathrooms, there are pictures cute. of Johnny and June. And Johnny came here too. So we got everyone that's been here. Of course, we have the famous fun day. So these were all here. the people that performed here? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. They were here on Halloween. Uh, Which one was the best? Um, Karen Carpenter and Jerry Garcia. Oh, oh yeah. Oh. Yeah, I remember y'all. <laughs> Do you really? Yeah. <laughs> it was yeah, fun. We got pictures, I think. We got, yeah, we got pictures. Wow. Yeah. That's yeah, really we cool. We got pictures of the whole crowd. We, we were so impressed because okay. we'd driven by this place and we'd always wanted to come in, but it was abandoned. Well, Dale, he, it wasn't on the market. He just went up to yeah, Kenny Rogers. No. no. What? <laughs> no. Willie Nelson. Willie Nelson. Oh, really? That's a guy oh. named it. But the guy that owned was Kenny Rogers with a D, with a Rogers. D. Uh, okay. And uh, he was he was the one that owned it when and Jerry was doing all this stuff here in the in the eighties and nineties. Anyway, Rod, Kenny Rogers had that and then he sold it to a guy named Willie Nelson. Yeah. <laughs> and then Actually that's Yeah Watson bought it. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah. So both of them were not the not not the actual okay. people. Now. <laughs> not the actual oh funny. People. <laughs> but uh, that's the Bur Bur Burnett Brothers and oh, okay. Rockabilly Trio Rock as I said. That, that lived in Montreal Courts. And was friends, was in a band with Elvis, you know. Yeah, that's cool. These guitars were from that TV show, The Sun, what's it called? The Sun? Sun Records. Oh, Sun on Records. the CMT channel? Yeah, it, yeah. Uh, there's some props. Last second. Uh, was, this is yeah. one of them was a watch. guitar that... Dale could not watch the video <laughs> of it. We tried to watch it. One of them was a guitar that uh, the character Johnny played, and one of the guitar that the character uh, oh, Lucy cool. Yeah, we were getting But this is actually it. real. This hmm. is a real receipt from uh, Sun that... Uh, uh, the guy that has Elvis Presley pawn shop. Oh, John he Daly? Gave, yeah, yeah, John Daly. Yeah, he gave, John he, gave me, he donated a lot of this stuff and that. Did he really? Uh, yeah. Uh, what else did he donate? Oh, I didn't know. Oh, that. The, the Jerry Lee jacket. Yeah, we got a Jerry Lee jacket. We got a. The Duck uh, Dunn stuff. Is that? Oh, no, that uh, was Duck Dunn stuff. That's Duck Dunn's son, yeah. What do you, what do you have of, of Duck Dunn? Uh, we just got this. <laughs> Uh, guitar player, his son sent us uh, this that article. He used to be the band leader here. And the Booker T and MGs would oh, play okay. here all the time. Yeah. And, uh, so we got it framed and everything. Cool. But it, it just talks about Duck Dunn leading the hideaway band. 
cream. Uh, yeah. There's a lady tell us about when she came here uh, in the early 50s, uh, like 51, 52, she, she her, her grandmother told her a story about coming here to see Fats Domino. Yeah. Really? Uh, wow. That was one of Elvis's favorites. I wonder if he knew that. I know. I mean, maybe well, that's why This is so close to Graceland. Yeah. And, and you, but you just never, probably back then, I mean, this was out of town back then. Yeah. Yeah, this was pretty far out of town. Would y'all like a water or soda or anything? I'm oh, fine. Good, thank you. Okay. Thank you. We uh, saw uh, Carla here on Halloween. Yeah, she was, she, she was a sweetheart. Yeah. Do you guys know the history of the original building? The original building, yeah. Yeah, uh, well, that's what it says, the farm to feminism. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. what, uh, you know what I, should, I should send you some of the files of that lady. Yeah, there, read but, our historian. We can send you uh, some stuff. Because this That'd be is awesome. a big uh, uh, <laughs> it was a it was a farm. And the lady, the lady that owned it, uh, her, her husband was cheating on her. <laughs> so she made sure that the the land and the building never went to any man in the family. It always it went, went to the, the oldest daughter, woman. To the oldest. Wow. Yeah, so and it says it there. It was owned by four generations of women. It's the first, uh, uh, it long before a prenup, you know. Uh -huh. <laughs> right. yeah. and, and so she, she did that, and that's the way it stayed up until the 80s. Yep. When, uh, I guess, I can't remember who it was. It before. says it right there. Yeah. Um, when Margaret... Nellie's daughter Margaret inherited it under the same terms, oh. and she leased the store to various nightclub managers until she sold it in 1980. Yeah, wow. So she owned it for a well, yeah, the family. All the way up to 1980, 1900s. Wow. Uh, so it was a grocery store. It was like a feed, feed store. store. Feed okay. Store. Okay. So they had, um, and this was on a farm. So they had chickens and. It was really big. I mean, it was oh. like a hatchery. The, all, all this, all this was their farm. Yeah, even all the way on the other side of. I think it said 400 acres or something like that. Wow. Yeah. Uh, but uh, yes, yeah, so 400 acres. Huh? So before she, uh, I mean, it's been so many things. It's always been uh, uh, what do you call uh, beer and wine. You know, no, just you know, set up set. Okay, mm -hmm. yeah. just okay. Not, no, no liquor, but uh, but she. The story was that. I guess the, the the owners went on vacation somewhere. You remember this part of the story? Right. They went on, went on vacation. Uh, uh, I guess early in the 1900s, right after right after Prohibition, and uh, uh, and then they came back uh, and the kids had turned it into a juke joint at night. <laughs> <laughs> the, the feed store. They just came back. Uh, uh, it wasn't like you today where you. Yeah, okay, we're on our way back and we're planning to come. They just go and went and said, okay, we're going to do this trip and we're coming back. And they didn't write postcards or nothing right. like that either. You mm -hmm. know, just, just, they okay. just showed up. They showed back up and Oops. This, this is at nighttime, it was a juke joint. <laughs> and they kept it that way. Yeah, that's what it was destined to be. Up. Yeah. You guys put a ton of work into it. I feel like it went to the perfect people to appreciate the history oh. Thank you. and enjoy it yeah, we are as it was. Well, these uh, yeah. These the reason I put these windows here because uh, they're going to be one. They're going to be showing videos of people like looking through the window. So oh, cool. cool! But actually, where we're headed today, we we forgot. Or I yeah, forgot. I was like, oh my God, coming. it's two o'clock. We gotta go. <laughs> oh. we're, we're going down to uh, different places like the, the pyramid and the sun and uh, Graceland and Sun Studios and just take pictures of it and have people just walking by. It's just. Like you just like you're looking out a window. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. so it'd be like a little yes, display. And then of course when the band's going, we're gonna, we're gonna you'll be able to see the stage just like that. Okay, okay. cool. I mean, well, that's Yay. that's yeah, that's that way because I did a promo for Ticket Ship Bingo. But, a but, close uh, up of who's at the bar. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but we're gonna yeah, and we're also gonna have our YouTube channel so that people from all over the world can watch watch what's going on at the Hideaway. Live. Yeah. Yeah, we got a that's Fernando's really cool. Hideaway TV. They found documentation that Elvis really was. Yeah, because they wouldn't put oh. it there. It wasn't. Yeah, they, they yeah. Had, you had to be be able to prove it. Yeah. Yeah. Cause there's a lot of rumors, but. Oh yeah. Well, yeah. the Cadillac were by, uh, that's supposed to, supposedly a uh, Cadillac that Elvis bought for one of the secretaries. The one we have supposedly. outside. The really? Yeah, that's the way. I mean, uh, but I I You're know that he to. bought one for. Uh, is it Pat Red West's daughter or, or wife? Mm -hmm. Red West's wife. Yeah. He bought one for her, but he uh, and I talked to her 
Uh, Hal Lansky has a good friend with her. He called her up and we did a, a, comp, a speaker phone and uh, asked her if she ever had uh, the red Cadillac. Cause it, it was bought here in Memphis, December left Memphis, at Cadillac. And, uh, and she said, yeah, I was bought her one. Uh, and they drove all the way to Colorado. So, but they bought, she, he bought hers in Colorado. Okay. So, and, uh, so, so you don't think it's the same one? It's not the same one. Hmm. But he, she wasn't the only, she wasn't the only secretary. Right. Uh, uh, and another friend of mine says, yeah, uh, he had a couple of secretaries in the 60s before uh, packing them all. I said, it could have, could have very well been. We're going to get to the could have been, it. could have been Vernon's secretary. Right. Or it could have been Elvis's. Well, you know, one there were several were ladies there. working there in there, of, yeah. Lots of them that worked over there in the 60s. And he bought everyone cars. Mm -hmm. yeah, Everybody got a car. Cars, uh, yeah, we we, uh, we just got married at Sun last week. Did Actually, you really? One what? Week, really? Yeah, you guys just got week. married? Oh, congratulations. congratulations. Oh, newlyweds. And we, um, we had that car and we, my, our friends put Just Married all over the car oh. and we put beer cans on the back and drove off. So wow. Off to the Peabody in that car. You got married at Sun Studios? Yeah. In the in main the recording studio, wow. yeah. That's really funny. recorded fitting. it too. So. Jerry Phillips is oh. the best man. Jerry Phillips. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. He's, he's a good old boy. I think I got to do the alarm. All right. Thank all you guys right. so much. Nice to meet you. Guys.